The following are the procedures for in-vehicle removal and replacement of the timing chains on the 4.6 liter engine. Be sure to follow all steps carefully. If you have any questions about the proper procedure, always consult the shop manual. Caution, never rotate the camshafts or crankshaft with the timing chains removed. Failure to follow these directions will result in engine damage. To begin replacement of the timing chains, disconnect both battery cables. Next, remove the cooling fan and shroud. Remove the air inlet tube. Next, carefully relieve the fuel system pressure and disconnect the fuel lines. Caution, be sure to follow all procedures for fuel system pressure discharge as outlined in the shop manual. Now remove the wiper arms, the weather strip seal, and the left upper cowl from the vehicle. Now remove the right upper cowl and remove the wiper module assembly. Release the belt tensioner and remove the accessory drive belt. Disconnect the ignition wires from the spark plugs. Caution, be sure to avoid pulling on the ignition wires themselves. Always remove the spark plug wires from the plugs by gripping the blocked end of the spark plug wire and turning. Disconnect the ignition wire brackets from the camshaft cover studs. And remove the two bolts retaining the ignition wire tray to the coil brackets. Next, remove the two bolts retaining the air conditioner high pressure line to the right hand coil bracket. Disconnect the ignition coil, condensers, and the CID sensor. Remove the three nuts retaining the right hand coil bracket to the front cover. And remove the nuts retaining the left hand coil bracket to the front cover. Slide the ignition coil brackets and the ignition wire assembly off the mounting studs and remove them from the engine. Remove the water pump pulley. Disconnect the alternator harness from the junction block. Then disconnect the purge solenoid electrical connector, the AC compressor electrical connector, and the HDR sensor. Now remove the retaining bolt from the positive battery cable bracket located on the side of the right cylinder head. Disconnect the canister purge solenoid vent hose from the PCV valve and remove the PCV valve from the camshaft cover. Remove the 42-pin engine harness connector and the transmission harness connector. Raise the vehicle. Disconnect the oil sending unit and EVO sensor and remove the bolts retaining the power steering pump to the engine block and cylinder front cover. Note, the front lower bolt on the power steering pump will not come all the way out. Now, wire the power steering pump out of the way. Next, remove the four bolts that retain the oil pan to the front cover. Remove the crankshaft damper retaining bolt and washer from the crankshaft. Install crankshaft damper remover T58P-6316-D, or equivalent, on the damper, and pull the damper from the crankshaft. Now, lower the vehicle. Remove the bolts and stud bolts that retain the right-hand camshaft cover to the cylinder head. And remove the camshaft cover. Remove the bolts and stud bolts retaining the left-hand camshaft cover to the cylinder head. And remove the camshaft cover. Remove the seven stud bolts and eight bolts retaining the front cover to the engine. Now remove the front cover. Remove the HDR wheel. Rotate the engine so that number one piston is at top dead center. Install the cam positioning tools T91P-6256-A or equivalent on the flats of the camshafts as shown. This will prevent accidental rotation of the camshafts. Remove the two bolts retaining the right hand tensioner to the cylinder head and remove the tensioner. Remove the right hand tensioner arm. Remove the two bolts retaining the right hand chain guide to the cylinder head and remove the chain guide. Remove the right hand chain from the camshaft gear and remove the right hand crankshaft gear and chain. Remove the two bolts retaining the left hand tensioner to the cylinder head and remove the tensioner. Remove the two bolts retaining the left hand chain guide to the cylinder head and remove the chain guide. Remove the left hand chain from the camshaft gear and remove the left-hand crankshaft gear and chain. That completes the timing chain removal procedure. To begin installation of the timing chain, 
First, inspect the friction material on the tensioner arms and chain guides. If worn or damaged, replace the tensioner. Also, remove and clean the oil pan and the oil pickup screen. Both crankshaft gears are identical. Install the left-hand timing chain on the crankshaft gear. Ensure that the copper link of the chain lines up with the timing mark on the crankshaft gear. And install the left-hand crankshaft gear with the tapered part of the gear facing away from the engine block. Install the left-hand timing chain on the camshaft gear. Ensure the copper end of this chain also lines up with the timing mark on the camshaft gear. When installing the right-hand crankshaft gear, check that the tapered part of the gear faces toward the engine block as shown. Now install the right-hand timing chain on the crankshaft gear, ensuring that the copper link of the chain lines up with the timing mark on the crankshaft gear. Install the right-hand timing chain on the camshaft gear and ensure that the copper link on this end is also lined up with the camshaft gear timing mark. Note, it is necessary to bleed down the timing chain tensioners prior to installation. Care must be taken when bleeding the tensioner down. Position the tensioner into a soft jawed vise. Using a small pick or a similar tool, hold the ratchet lock mechanism away from the ratchet stem and slowly compress the tensioner plunger by rotating the vise handle. Once the tensioner plunger bottoms in the bore, continue to hold the ratchet lock mechanism and push down on the ratchet stem until it is flush with the tensioner face. While holding the ratchet stem flush to the tensioner face, release the ratchet lock mechanism and install a paper clip or similar tool in the tensioner body as shown. This locks it in the collapsed position. Note, the paper clip must not be removed until the timing chain, tensioner, tensioner arm and timing chain guide are completely installed on the engine. Lubricate the tensioner arm contact surfaces with clean engine oil and install the right hand and left hand tensioner arms on their dowels. Be sure that the shoes of the tensioners are in the proper position as shown here. Install the right hand and left hand timing chain tensioners securing each with two bolts. Torque the bolts to spec. Remember, do not remove the lock pins until the timing chain guides are installed. Install the right hand and left hand chain guides securing each with two bolts. Tighten each bolt to spec. Now remove the paper clips from the timing chain tensioners and check that the timing marks are aligned on each gear. Now remove the cam positioning tools. Then install the HDR wheel with the rear mark and the flange toward the engine. Inspect the front cover. Apply silicone gasket and sealant E3AZ-19562-A or equivalent in the location shown. Install the front cover on the engine. And install the seven stud bolts and eight bolts retaining the front cover to the engine. Tighten the bolts to specification. Now, apply silicone gasket and sealer E3AZ-19562-A or equivalent where the front cover meets the cylinder head and install the camshaft covers onto the cylinder heads. Install the bolts and stud bolts into the right camshaft cover and tighten to specification. Install the bolts and stud bolts into the left camshaft cover and tighten to specification. Raise the vehicle. Now apply silicone gasket and sealant E3AZ-19562-A or equivalent to the keyway of the damper as shown. Position the damper on the crankshaft and ensure that the key and keyway are aligned. Now, install the crankshaft damper using the crankshaft sprocket and damper replacer tool T74P-6316-B or equivalent. Install the damper bolt and washer and tighten to specification. Now, install the four bolts retaining the oil pan to the front cover and tighten to specification. Next, position the power steering pump on the engine Install the four retaining bolts and tighten to specification. Connect the EVO sensor and the oil pressure sending unit. Lower the vehicle. Connect the 42 pin connector and the transmission harness connector. Now, install the PCV 